Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 9th Mathematics, the chapter Real Numbers. Here are the questions and solutions from exercise 1.4 and this is part 3 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 7, question number 8 and question number 9 of the chapter Real Numbers. Here is exercise 11.4 and this is question number 7. Find the value of root 10 minus root 15 whole divided by 2 root 2 up to 3 decimal places. It is given that root 2 value is 1.414 and root 5 value is 2.236. I shall repeat. Find the value of root 10 minus root 15 divided by 2 root 2 up to 3 decimal places where root 2 is equal to 1.414 and root 5 is equal to 2.236. Now, here is the solution. Here, we have to find the value of root 10 minus root 15 divided by 2 root 2. This value is to be found. Now, if you observe this, you can find an irrational number at the denominator. Therefore, first of all, let us rationalize the denominator. You consider root 10 minus root 15 by 2 root 2 root 10 minus root 15 by 2 root 2 and since root 2 is there at denominator if you multiply this root 2 with another root 2 then root 2 into root 2 will become 2 so that it will become a rational number therefore by rationalizing the denominator the rationalizing factor of 2 root 2 is root 2 Either you can multiply this with 2 root 2 also no problem. But if you multiply 2 root 2 with root 2, then root 2 into root 2 may become 2 so that it become a rational number. Therefore, the rationalizing factor for 2 root 2 is root 2. Since it is the rationalizing factor, since root 2 is rationalizing factor, let us multiply both numerator and denominator of the fraction with root 2 so that the value of the fraction does not change. Now, if you observe this product, this is one fraction and this is the second fraction, I have to find the product of both these fractions. Dear students, in order to find out the product of two fractions, it is nothing but I have to multiply the numerators divided by I have to multiply the denominators. Now, if you find the product of the numerators, that is root 10 minus root 15 into root 2 root 10 minus root 15 whole into root 2 divided by 2 root 2 into root 2 product of denominators. Is it clear? Okay. Now let us go for product. This is equal to root 10 into root 2 whole root of 10 into 2 is 20 minus root 15 into root 2 whole root of 15 to 30 divided by this root 2 into root 2 is 2. 2 into this 2. 2 2's are 4. Therefore, this value is root 20 minus root 30 divided by 4. We know that 20 can be written as 4 into 5. And this 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. Isn't it? Now, square root of 4 into square root of 5. Square root of 4 into 5 is nothing but square root 4 into square root 5. What is square root of 4? Square root of 4 is 2 into root 5 minus this is root 2 into root 3 into root 5. Now, let us substitute the values that are given. We have given that root 2 is 1.414 and we have also given that root 5 is 2.236. Let us substitute these values. 2 into root 5 that is 2 into 2.236 minus root 2 value is 1.414 and root 3 value is 1.732 into root 5 value is 2.236 actually not to solve this question we need root 3 value also but it is not given in the question here in the question itself we have to given the root 3 value also therefore we consider the root 3 value as 1.732 and we wrote root 3 value also here here 2 into root 5 that is 2 into 2.236 minus root 2 is 1.414 
into root 3 is 1.732 into root 5 is 2.236 divided by 4. 2 into 2.236 is 4.472 minus product of these 3 when you correct it to 3 places is 5.476. If you subtract 5.476 from 4.472, the answer is minus 1.004 divided by 4. Now 4 in 1.004, 0 0.2. 5, 1. This is the actual value up to 3 decimal places. Is it clear? Now let us look at question number 8. Here is question number 8. Find the first bit 64 to the power of 1 by 6. Second bit 32 to the power of 1 by 5. Third bit 625 to the power 1 by 4. 4th bit 16 to the power 3 by 2, 5th bit 243 to the power 2 by 5 and 6th bit 46656 to the power minus 1 by 6. I shall repeat, find 1st bit 64 to the power 1 by 6, 32 to the power of 1 by 5, 625 to the power of 1 by 4, 16 to the power of 3 by 2. 243 to the power of 2 by 5 and 46656 to the power of minus 1 by 6 we have to find all these 6 values here is the solution let us consider the first bit 64 to the power of 1 by 6 you may divide the 64 into prime factors if you divide 64 into prime factors that is you have to write 64 as 64 is equal to 2 into 32 32 is 2 into 16, 16 is 2 into 8, 8 is 2 into 4 and 4 is 2 into 2. Like that if it resolve 64 into prime factors, you will get 64 is equal to 2 power 6. Therefore, 64 whole power 1 by 6 is equal to 2 power 6 whole power 1 by 6. This is in the form of a power m whole power n. This is equal to a to the power of m into n a to the power of m whole power n is a to the power of m into n if you multiply 6 with 1 by 6 this 6 in numerator 6 one time therefore 2 power 1 whose value is equal to 2 understood now let us second bit 32 to the power of 1 by 5 32 to the power of 1 by 5 we know that 32 is equal to 2 into 16, 16 is equal to 2 into 8 and 8 is equal to 2 into 4 and 4 is equal to 2 into 2. Like that if we resolve 32 into prime factors you will get 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 power 5 whole power 1 by 5. Again it in the Again this is in the form of a power m whole power n which is equal to a to the power of m into m. That is 2 to the power of 5 into 1 by 5. This 5 in 5 one time, therefore this is 2 power 1, whose value is equal to 2. And third bit, 625 to the power of 1 by 4. 625, since 5 is there at units place, it cannot be divisible by 2. If we add 6, 2 and 5, which is equal to 13, is not divisible by 3. But since... 5 is in units place, it is divisible by 5. Therefore, 5 in 625, 125 times, 125 can be written as 2 into 25, and 25 can be written as 5 into 5. So that 625 is equal to 5 power 4. Therefore, this is 5 power 4, whole power 1 by 4. 5 power 4, whole power 1 by 4. This is in the, again in the form of a power m, whole power n, a to the power of m into n. That is 5 to the power of 4 into 1 by 4. This 4 and 4 one time. Therefore, this is 5 power 1. whose value is equal to 5. Now, let us solve the fourth bit. 16 to the power of 3 by 2. 16 is 2 power 4. Whole power 3 by 2. A power m whole power n. A to the power of m into n. That is 2 to the power of 4 into 3 by 2. This 2 in 4 2 times. 2 3 is 6 2 to the power of 6 what is 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64 
therefore 2 power 6 is equal to 64 next fifth bit 243 to the power 2 by 5 the result to 43 into prime factors you will get 3 into 81 81 can be written as 3 into 27 27 can be written as 3 into 9 and 9 can be written as 3 into 3 so that 243 is nothing but 3 power 5 whole power 2 by 5 understood now this is a power m whole power n a to the power of m into n 5 in 5 one time therefore this is 3 square 3 square means 3 into 3 whose value is equal to 9 next sixth bit 46656 to the power of minus 1 by 6 now if you observe this or if you prime factorize this you can write this in the form of 2 power 6 into 3 power 6 if we resolve 46656 into prime factors you will get 2 power 6 into 3 power 6 which is nothing but 6 power 6 whole to the power of minus 1 by 6 then this is 6 power 6 into minus 1 by 6 6 in 6 one time therefore this is 6 power minus 1 6 power minus 1 is 1 by 6 as a power minus n is equal to 1 by a power n here in order to solve all these we used the loss of exponents okay basing on the loss of exponents we solved all these values now dear children let us look at question number 9 simplify 4th root of 81 minus 8 into cube root of 343 plus 15 into 5th root of 32 plus square root of 225 I shall repeat simplify 4th root of 81 minus 8 into cube root of 343 plus 15 into 5th root of 32 plus square root of 225 now in order to simplify this let us consider 81 343 32 and 225 and let us factorize these values understood now first of all 81 81 is nothing but 9 into 9 this 9 is 3 into 3 and this 9 is again 3 into 3 therefore 81 is equal to 3 power 4 similarly 343 343 is nothing but 7 into 49 this 49 is 7 into 7 therefore 343 is 7 cube 32 32 is 4 into 8 this 4 is 2 into 2 and this 8 means 2 into 2 into 2 therefore 32 is equal to 2 power 5 and this is 225 225 is 15 into 15 or 15 square understood now you write down the question the question is 4th root of 81 minus 8 into cube root of 343 plus 15 into 5th root of 32 plus square root of 225. Now let us substitute these values. First of all, 4th root of 81 is nothing but 81 to the power 1 by 4 minus 8 into cube root of 343 means 343 to the power 1 by 3 plus 15 into 5th root of 32 means 15 into 32 to the power 1 by 5 plus square root of 225 means 225 whole power 1 by 2 now 81 81 is nothing but 3 power 4 3 power 4 whole power 1 by 4 minus 8 into 343 is 7 cube to the power 1 by 3 plus 15 into 32 to the power 1 by 5 32 means 2 power 5 whole power 1 by 5 plus 225 225 is 15 square to the power 1 by 2 now this 4 and 4 will be cancelled this is 3 power 1 or 3 minus 8 into 7 cube whole power 1 by 3 this 3 and 3 will be cancelled this is 7 power 1 is 7 8 into 7 plus 15 into this 5 and 5 will be cancelled this is 15 into 2 plus this 2 and 2 will be cancelled and this is 15 power 1 is 15 which is equal to 3 minus 8 7s 56 plus 15 2s 30 plus 15 you add positive values first of all 
3 plus 30 is 33. 33 plus 15 is 48. Minus 56. 48 minus 56 is minus 8. Dear children, by this we solve the question number 7, 8 and 9 of exercise 1.4. Now all the video links of the introduction to real numbers and all the problems and solutions of exercise 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 and 1.4 are provided in the description. You can click the video link and you can revise the chapter. Thank you. Thank you one and all.